can finish as the two seed with a win? I mean, you still have a lot to play for? Yeah, uh, definitely a lot to play for, you know. Um, and you already know they're going to have a great crowd over there, too. So it's going to be a great atmosphere. Still a lot to play for, uh, and we're juiced up. Um, you know, we, uh, we acknowledge that and just thinking about that every day, uh, you know, it's a great feeling that we're probably gonna be in the, the tournament. Um, but like we said, you know, we're still focused on this next game, still focused on the tournament, um, the Mountain West tournament. Yeah. How much are you, are you a guy that looks at Joe Lenardi's bracketology every day? Are you reading, do you pay attention to all that? Or? Um, I try not to, but you know, it's, it's going to be out there, you know, on Twitter and stuff, uh, scroll and look at it. So. Um, yeah, I look at it every once in a while. How much do you think, uh, you know, tomorrow's game and then the tournament it could, could, you know, maybe you feel like you're pretty good about getting in, but could really help your seeding and stuff? Mm -hmm. Right, 100%. Yeah, it can. Um, so we're still just taking it, you know, one game at a time. You know, we're focused on Utah State right now. Uh, Got to get this dub and then, you know, everything after that. What's the difference playing, like, two Saturdays in a row? You're going to play at a place that was, what, 20% full versus a place the fire marshals are probably looking the other way. And it's Mm -hmm. As a visitor, what's the difference? Um, as a visitor, you kind of don't want to buy into the crowd at all. You know, you don't want to do anything that's going to get them riled up. Versus at home, you know, you want all the energy you can get. So, uh, this I, I meant like in the no crowd at San Jose uh -huh. versus everybody screaming against you at Utah State. Differences playing those on the road. Oh right, yeah. Uh, you know, going to a hostile environment. You know, like I said. Uh, you know, they're going to get after you a little bit. You don't want to really rile them up. But at the same time, uh, I love it. I think we love it as a team, so it's going to be fun. What does this season uh, meant to you, you know, transferring to a new place, getting immersed in a new culture, mm -hmm. being able to make a big impact for this team? Right. Uh, I feel like it just feels really good to be a part of something that feels like it's on the rise right now. You know, our whole basketball program feels like it's going on the up. Um, and it just feels amazing to be a part of something bigger than me um, that's going well. Well, with his question. Um, honestly, I didn't know what I was going to get. Uh, you know, Coach Rice believed in me, and I believed in him. And it's never really 50-50. It's always 100-100. You know, Coach giving 100 everything he got. I'm giving everything I got. Um, and I just wanted to win, and that's what we're doing. So it feels good. When you were at Texas Tech, I'm sure there was plenty of times where they rushed the court or to celebrate the championship or whatever. But for it to happen on Tuesday, mm -hmm. big part of that and mm -hmm. you're playing and stuff. Did that feel different to you? Uh, yeah, it definitely did. Um, you know, just knowing that I had that impact um, on the game and on winning. Uh, and it was just a great feeling because, you know, it was senior night. Uh, you love those guys, you know, Nas, Shaver, Lucas, Max. It was just a great feeling, great night um, to have that happen. Have you heard much about the, the crowd in Logan? I mean, there's a player a couple years ago flipped off the crowd mm -hmm. and back and forth. There's yeah. stuff. You guys, it was a little chippy in the game last time you played them too. What are you kind of mm -hmm. expecting tomorrow? Um, I expect that same kind of, honestly, uh, chippiness, you know. I think we're going to get their best shot. I think the crowd's going to be wild, so we just got to be ready to go.